See one, do one, teach one. This expression has been the foundation of medical training for over a century, but unfortunately, it's no longer working. The number and complexity of the procedures we need to learn are ballooning, while the time we have to learn them is decreasing. The learning curve for a modern surgery involving advanced technologies like robotics or patient-specific implants can be anywhere from 50 to 100 cases. Seeing a procedure once and then doing it intuitively seems like it would put patients at risk, and it does. Complication rates while learning a new technique can be up to 300% higher than normal. I've seen this training gap firsthand in my own surgical residency. Believe it or not, I often would be asked to Google the surgery we were doing to find the instruction manual. Yeah, true story. What if I told you that there was a technology that provides the opportunity to practice a procedure anytime and anywhere in a safe, repeatable way? Well, there is. That technology is virtual reality, or VR. In a future with VR simulation, providers would only treat patients once they have shown that they have the technical skills necessary to perform a surgery safely. Today, aircraft pilots can only operate a commercial jet once they have learned their skills in a simulator and passed a battery of tests. In aviation, when it's life or death, simulators are not tomorrow's luxury. They are today's necessity. Why should the medical world be any different? Early results from a validation study at UCLA show that students trained in VR perform surgery twice as well as students trained by traditional means. VR is scalable, affordable, and most importantly, it works. With this technology, the next generation of surgeons will be ready for takeoff.